a day of reckoning for those who are responsible for the position that we're in and the position that the people in the state of Rhode Island in, uh, that day is coming. A full rebuild. <sighs> At least two years before a new Washington Bridge westbound is back online. We certainly understand that there'll be an additional amount of patience required. And then there's the cost. Right now it's estimated at up to $300 million and that could go even higher. A bill that will be funded by state and federal tax dollars. And state officials announcing the bridge was in much worse shape than originally thought. I'm not happy about the fact that where we are right now, I don't know if you got that impression. And tonight, commuters, businesses, and students are now trying to figure out what this means for their lives. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. For some local businesses near the bridge, panic is starting to set in. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with some of those most impacted and has their message tonight. Matt? Shannon, Mike, small business owners tell me they're once again being tested and are asking for the support from the community and state leaders. businesses are where you have your anniversary dinners. It's where you take your mother out for Mother's Day. The message from leaders loud and clear. These people need you now more than ever. They need your support. And you know, make an extra effort to support your small business person. For those like Eileen Harvey, the owner of Skeff's Pub, the fight to stay afloat is on. You wish you could just like snap your fingers and the bridge would be back. We've had to make some adjustments. We've cut back hours in the kitchen. And for Sam Glenn at Chomp in Warren, it's those cutbacks and unthought of consequences hurting them the most. I mean, it's been a lot of unknowns, you know, just like everybody else in December, we were caught off guard with losing employees to uh, to traffic issues. There's a lot of uh, collateral, collateral damage that I think is not really talked about enough. The westbound Washington Bridge has been closed for just three months thus far. Two more years has small business owners point blank saying they need help. We're kind of out on an island by ourselves again, and I think that's the biggest issue that we've had over the past three months is there's not a lot of help. The SBA, when they came out with loans, uh, was a fine opportunity for a short-term solution, but you know, businesses that are already struggling don't want to take out loans. We can build a bridge. Um, we have to deal with it for the next two, three years, um, but it's not something that we plan. Always be positive and hope for the best. I mean, that's what we did in Cumberland um, through COVID and we made it. A small business fair is being held by the city of East Providence to help assist those small businesses that have been impacted by the westbound Washington Bridge closure. Now that's going to be on March 21st and all of the details you need can be found over on our website at WPRI.com. Reporting live in East Providence tonight, Matt Paddock, 12 News.